So we have our lovely student class from the last lecture. Now let's write a program that tests to see if it works the way we intended, or at least one, a program that uses it nicely. I propose a program called test student. It contains only a single method, a main method, which means it's runnable. In it, we declare two student variables, s1 and s2. Uh, we instantiate a new object for s1 and set its values to bill 84, 86, and 88. Then we test the s1.toString method by printing it out. Finally, we will create some aliasing, so we'll assign s2 to point to the same object as s1, we'll set s2's name to be Anne, and then we'll show that if I access the name through s1, because both s1 and s2 point to the same object, I will get, indeed, Anne. So let's take a look here. I have in this package my student.java, my student class, which, remember, contains no main method, so it's not runnable, and we have teststudent.java, which is all the code we just looked at inside a single main method. So if I run teststudent.java, the output looks exactly as we would expect. Here's student s1, we see s1's two string output, and then we see the little test that we did to show that s1 and s2 both point to the same object. Lovely. Of course, when I'm working with multiple classes, it can get kind of tricky figuring out where a particular error occurred. For instance, uh, let's take a look at an example where we have a mistake in student, but we only run test student. We find that there's a bug. So I'm going to go into student.java, and I'll scroll down to the get average method. The only modification I'm going to make here is instead of dividing by 3 to calculate the average, we'll divide by the variable average itself, which starts with a value of zero. So that's a mistake. That's a logical error. Now let's go on to teststudent.java, and we'll give it a quick run. Uh-oh, looks like we have a divide by zero runtime error. Let's just make some sense of the error message we see here. It looks like there was a divide by zero exception, an arithmetic exception, when in get average on line 54 we tried to do that illegal operation and that method was called by students to string method from line 74 there which was called by some methods that we didn't write which in turn were called by main that's line 15 here in main you'll notice that we can actually click on these lines and it'll take us where it's telling us there were mistakes so we can start to sort of unravel this error uh, and ultimately, it turns out that uh, this line in main made an implicit call to, uh, to to string, which called get average. And when we end up in get average, that's where we can see the divide by zero exception happening. Now, maybe you'll notice at the top of the test student class, we didn't actually have to have any import statements that brought in the student class in the same way that you might have had to do with, say, Scanner or Random or one of those other classes that we imported into a program. That's because they're sitting in the same package. Uh, if you were trying to use a class from a different package, you would need to import it from that package with an import statement right up here at the top. So just a little crash course in uh, testing the student class and starting to pick through error messages that pop up when we run programs.